Well, hello there, everybody. Martika here with Martika J Makes, and welcome to my channel. So if this is your first time joining, welcome and thank you for stopping by to see what this channel is all about. And if you're returning, welcome back. So today we are talking about a collaboration. This video is in collaboration with Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs, and it is upon the theme of Hot Girl Summer. So our challenge was to take some new look patterns. You guys know that we all took advantage of the new look 99 cent clearance sale that Hobby Lobby had, oh, about a month ago now, and it's still going if you've been in Hobby Lobby. You will probably see new look patterns still in their clearance section for 99 cents. So we all take advantage of that. At least I know I did. And so what Rochelle has challenged, not only myself, but very, very many sewists from across the sewing community to do is make a set using new look patterns. So this could be a set of like one pattern if you had like one pattern that's a complete set or you could take two patterns and put them together to make a set. So that's exactly what I did once I decided what I needed in my wardrobe because I wanted to make sure that I was making something that I uh, did need and that I would wear this summer, okay? So I took two patterns. First, the first pattern I took was New Look 6608, and I did a top, and I used View A, this little tank right up top here. And you guys, it was very, very easy to put together. It was only two pieces, the front and the back you cut both of them on the fold. So it was very, very easy to put together. It really doesn't get any easier than that. And then as far as the armholes and the uh, neckline goes, basically you just make a narrow hem and edge stitch it, and then you do your hem at the bottom of the tank itself. Very, very simple. So for that particular top, I actually cut out the largest size that is on the pattern itself. And that was size 20, okay? Now I did that based on the finished bust measurements, which was a 41 and a half. Now for me, my bust measurements can go between a 39, 39 and a half, and even a 40, okay? So I do, you know, some fluctuating this time, this during this time in my life, but, I could have cut out, I think, probably the 18 as well, because the finished bust measurement on that one was 39 and a half. So I probably could have gotten away with that one, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough room. And if I needed to take it in some, then I had the space to do that. So that's actually uh, what I ended up doing because underneath the armhole, Although I had like a loose fit and it was totally fine because it was relaxed, the armhole, it dipped a little bit too deep for me and it was showing the entire side of my bra on the side. So I did not want that. Uh, I could have left it like that if I wanted to wear a tank top under the tank. I didn't wanna go through all of that. So what I did is I just took it in. I pinched the armhole tighter, I put it on, pinched it where I needed it to close in. And then I, I kind of um, just graded the stitch together to where it would just kind of uh, come together as one straight stitch. So that's how I did that. I probably ended up taking it in maybe about two to two and a half inches right underneath, you know, my arm. So no big deal. I had the room to take it in. It turned out fine. So I was totally okay with that. So for the bottoms, I uh, did my tried and true. I knew that I wanted to do some pants and I had some other new look patterns that were uh, pants, but I wanted something because of the busyness that's been going on this month. I wanted something that I knew would work out just fine with this top because I had never made this top before. So I said, I need, I want some loose flowy pants 
So I said, I'm just gonna go with my tried and trues on this one. And I went with New Look 6381. Yes, this is my fifth time making these pants. So you guys know that this pattern is a staple for me. However, I did use the covered band on the skirt views on here instead of the black band that you see the model wearing. So with that, it was only two pieces as well, but the uh, covering for the elastic band, it made it three pieces. No big deal at all, okay? You had your two fronts, your two backs, and then your casing for your elastic. That was it. I had like, I think it was like some two or three inch wide elastic in my uh, elastic uh, drawer. So I went on ahead and just grabbed that and used it. Now for the fabric that I use for these uh, pieces is a red, it's, it's actually like a darker red, a lighter blue and a navy blue. And then you have some white in there too. And it's a rib knit. It came from a bundle that I got from Walmart a while back, probably almost a year ago. And it was a big bundle. It was like four yards of fabric. And if my mind serves me right, if I can find the photo, I'll put it up there. But I believe that this bundle was like either $4 or $6. You guys, I'm telling you, it was very, very inexpensive. So I was finally able to put something together with that. And with, you know, Juneteenth coming up this week and then with 4th of July coming up next month, I was like, okay, this is some great colors to put uh, with the original colors of both holidays being red, white, and blue. So. I went on ahead and did that. And let me tell you how much fabric I did use on these. For the pants, I cut a small. Um, I forgot to tell you that. I did cut a small because I reviewed these several times now. And that is due to the hip measurement, which is 48 and a half, okay? So these are very wide, very loose fitting. Where your fitted part comes in is your waist, okay? So um, I cut a size eight on these. And the uh, amount of fabric that this took is about two and one eighth inch uh, of fabric. I'm sorry, two and one eighth yards of fabric. But you guys, I probably, I went under two yards of fabric because I took about four inches, I believe, off of this particular pattern. As a matter of fact, I think it was probably like four and a half inches off of the pants to, to shorten it because I'm a little shorty. So I went on ahead and did that. And then for the, the uh, top itself, it only took seven eighths of a yard of fabric. So yeah, this rib knit fabric, not only is it cool to wear, but it is, I mean, it was really nice to work with. Very, very good quality fabric uh, that I came up on, you know, in Walmart that day. So I am glad that I did grab it. Another thing I like about it is that it is not see-through, so I don't have to worry about any of that. And it's just something I can just throw on and I can mix and match it in my closet with other things. So I can wear the top with like some jeans or some shorts. Uh, I can wear the pants with like a solid color tank top if I choose to, or some other top if I choose to. So those are the pieces that I've been kind of putting into my wardrobe so that I can get more use out of them. So yeah, that is my hot girl summer outfit. I want to thank Rochelle for inviting me to be a part of this challenge once again. I hope you all have enjoyed this review. I hope you take the time out to go through your patterns and piece some things together and make your own custom sets as well. It's really fun. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about mine and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.